Hey, it's your old pal Chris. It's nine o'clock on September 20th, a Thursday. And uh, I learned a new phrase today. Um, privilege guilt. <laughs> now, if you're already uh, sick of the word privilege and, and, and hearing about that sort of thing, I guess now would be the time to turn off this video. Um, but I was on uh, a Slack channel that I belong to and um, somebody shared, let me see if I can find the actual thing so that I don't, on the books channel, um, let's see, somebody was, uh, sharing this, uh, this t-shirt that said, uh, decolonize your, uh, your bookshelf on the, on the books channel of this Slack. And, um, in the description of the, of the link they posted, um, it reads, uh, when it comes to curating your summer reading list, no more white men is the way to go. Um, and, you know, in general, I'm, I'm kind of for that, even as a white man. Um, I try to diversify my, my reading list. Uh, when I teach, I try to uh, diversify that all the way if I can, uh, including as, as few sort of men from the canon um, as possible. Uh, only the ones who, who truly deserve to be reread and taught, um, not the ones that the sort of society and, and academia have decided must be. Um, try to just go with the stuff that's good. Um, and the stuff that I like to teach, which ends up being a lot of women and, and, uh, and persons of color and people from marginali marginalized uh, communities. Um, but I, you know, uh, there's a lot of, as, uh, as a person eventually explained to me, um, later on in the thread, uh, a lot of privilege guilt possibly going on with me. Um, after seeing that shirt and a couple of buttons there, I wrote, uh, this post. I said, I dig these, but my self-hating self has a serious question. I'm a white man and I write books and I'm wondering if I should stop. Totally serious. I don't know if I could stop because writing is what I do, but there's a big part of me that feels like I should shut up and get out of the way because I can totally get behind the message of these pins and that no more white men is the way to go message above. I have so many talented non-male and or non-white students and former students who should be getting attention and I champion them and their work whenever I can. I recommended my former student Jesra Kala's book of poetry multiple times at EXO, for instance, and I largely assign work by non-white, non-male writers. We read Carmen Maria Mercado's uh, uh, inventory for yesterday's class, and in the spring we do two weeks on Roxanne Gay, and I guess I'm wondering if I need to put my money where my mouth is and just stop writing. The thought has occurred to me more than once, there are too many of you out there already, Chris, and the world doesn't need more. So um, I got a lot of thoughtful uh, and con kind responses, which is exactly what I expected um, from this group that I belong to. So that was awesome. Um, and I learned this phrase, uh, privilege guilt, which, um, you know, uh, it really, really um, kind of stuck out to me. The other thing that really stuck out to me in, in rereading, um, sorry that I keep moving the camera, uh, these was uh, something that, um, uh, one of the last people to post, uh, wrote, and, um, what did, uh, just checking pronouns here. Oh, she doesn't have, I think it's, I think it's a she. Apologize, apologies, Nick, if I, um, let me see, can I find out? A lot of people, uh, on here include their pronouns. Anyway, uh, Nick wrote to me. Where's Nick's response? Um, uh, you should do what you want to do, and if I were you, I would try to avoid self-hatred if you can, because it's another way of being self-focused. Which, which is putting... Uh, putting words to something that I've long wanted to, to find the words for. Um, so try to explain to people that I feel like my self, uh, my disgust with myself sometimes is a form of self-centeredness. Um, but the, uh, yeah, 
this, uh, I guess, I guess I said it just as well as, uh, as Nick did, but, um, yeah, I don't know. And it was funny after posting this and before I saw all the comments, I, um, uh, or before I saw like the second half of the comments, I, I had a workshop at work about this very subject, uh, about, uh, our biases and, um, and how to acknowledge those and, and do better with, um, uh, do better with uh, diversity um, on campus um, and with with our uh, um, with our work with uh, people coming from um, uh, I'm, I'm losing all my words anyway it was just, just an intense day um, and uh, I'm glad it's over <laughs> but I'm also glad for for what I learned uh, throughout the day. You have those days, right? Where it's like, ugh, it's hard, but also it was good that it was hard. I'm gonna stop now before I, uh, before my brain goes into the gutter and I make uh, an obscene joke about it being good that it was hard. But it was good that it was hard.